out here. He's been covering this part of the story all day long for us, and he's live for us right now. Todd. Yeah, Stephen, you know, I'm here at Monroe Elementary, not far from where you are, and this is where the young woman who survived last night's deadly ordeal spent part of her elementary years. It's also about a half mile from the shooting scene, and that's why grief counselors came here today offering their services to anybody that needs help. A spokesman for New Richmond says about a dozen or so people took advantage of uh, their expertise. Um, the district might offer similar assistance next week, but it does depend on the need at this point. Today, we learned the seven-year-old boy who was killed attended the district's other elementary school, Locust Corner, for a time. His older sister, who survived Thursday's awfulness, awfulness, as I mentioned, is set to be a high school freshman in the fall. Superintendent Tracy Miller talked about the kids' community connections. It's brutal. It is just, just me as superintendent, but for our staffs, our community, our parents, uh, the kids played t-ball, the, the young lady Alexis um, at her middle school going to be high school involved with softball, uh, umpiring, just very involved, just great, great kids. Just think about the youth sports, which that's the language that brings us all together, right? One of the members of our administrative team was the coach of the t-ball team that the four-year-old was on. And you just think about that, that here's this t-ball team, a bunch of four-year-olds and the parents, and one of those young, bright young faces is gone now. And how do we respond to that? Yeah, some very difficult questions being asked tonight. Miller did say one thing that's going to help this community heal is just what uh, my colleague Lindsay mentioned a moment ago. It's the fact that in this area, neighbors tend to know each other, and Miller called that a kind of uh, connective tissue. He said when there are bad things that happen, neighbors pull together to get to the other side of the mountain, and that's certainly going to be a, a steep climb given what happened last night, but he's confident this community will pull through. It might take some time, clearly. Reporting live in Claremont County, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. And, and Todd, you talk about this community coming together. It's unfortunate that we have to talk about this isn't the first time that the schools, the communities have all had to band together because of a tragic loss in this community. So please tell us more about how students and teachers were recovering from before Thursday's deadly shooting. Yes, Stephen, if our viewers will recall, certainly I was out here at the time. It was in late February, just a few months ago, that deputies say a Claremont County woman killed three of her family members in a murder-suicide. And among the victims, a 13-year-old boy who was a middle school student here in the New Richmond District. And I talked to Tracy Miller at that time. Very similar news conference as what happened today and the parallels between what happened then and what transpired last night. They are beyond chilling. Stephen? Todd Dykes reporting live.